What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just got something and I thought it was intriguing and I'm gonna tell you what it was for too. But this is a light bulb from the Mega Tiny Corporation. I've taken a look at their stuff before, been really impressed with it. And uh, it's got that cool like kind of art deco comic book label on the front. Uh, as always, their packaging is lovely. I love it. Uh, but it's an LED light bulb, kind of looks like a a giant light bulb, standard, was that like E2627 uh, base there, so it screws in any light socket. But as you can see here, these are not plumes of smoke as this is taking off like a rocket. These are USB ports built into the, the light bulb. So when the light bulb has power, you can charge things. It's called the power bulb. So there you have it. Pretty awesome. Now let's open it up and take a look at it. I mean, I'm stoked. I'm really excited about this bad boy because just a wicked cool idea and um, I am going to use it like on my nightstand. So the, the bulb has a little heft, you know, it fits in my hand here. I would guess that it feels like it's a little longer than a regular bulb, but probably not by much. You know, the difference is it's kind of more of an egg-shaped where the light bulb obviously kind of comes down to a smaller point there. You have kind of this really gray rubberized texture around here and a power button right there. And that's for turning the light on and off if it has power uh, so you don't interrupt the power flow to the USB ports. So you have this kind of rubberized base here. You have a very clear lens on this end. You have a light diffuser inside there. And so you should get a nice, bright, uh, diffused white light. Looks like some venting, obviously, for the electronics to kind of keep things cool. And like I said, a standard, I think, an E2627 base here. So, you know, what are the stats on it? Well, supposedly it has 2700K of warm light, 21 watts, 7 watt bulb, two USB out, uh, outlets, 608 lumens in a 50,000 hour life. It is not dimmable. So, you know, if you've got your lights on dimmers, just keep that in mind. But what I love about this is that, you know, if you look at my nightstand, I have cords strewn all over and they, I, they're connected to charging blocks, which are plugged into extension cords, which go to the wall, you know, because I want my phone charging at night next to me or my iPad. And the cool thing is I could charge my iPhone and my iPad because of the two USB slots here. Um, have cables kind of coming right down from my lamp, charge them up, don't have uh, cords that in invariably fall off my nightstand and you're kind of fishing around for them. So this is pretty cool. Now on top of that, combine it with things like this retractable lightning cable or this other retractable lightning cable. A little different. Um, this one is a little, the white one's a little larger and that's because it's also a lightning and micro USB. So maybe you have a different uh, cable but the cool thing about this what I really wanted to see is if I plug in like a retractable lightning cable like that and then I use it you know I pull it out charge my phone and then retract that cable all the way back up you know it even kind of declutters my nightstand right I don't even have cables hanging around anywhere and then when I do need it I just reach up there pull out my cable charge my devices. You can put these lights like in your living room for your guests or your guest bedroom or your family room or wherever so that you're sitting by the TV, you know, watching a little TV, realize your uh, phone is going dead or something like that. You could reach up, you've got cables everywhere. And, and not only that, but on my nightstand, like I said, charge a couple of devices. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. Let's go ahead and get it installed. Regular lamp on this nightstand and a compact fluorescent light bulb in there. Let's go ahead and get the new bulb in there and see how it works. I just got the power bulb installed there. And as you can see, man, it is pretty bright. It is definitely that warm kind of yellowish light, which looks and feels great. If I go ahead and throw the shade back on there, you can see there, um, nice, nice warm light if the shade would stop bouncing around. And so that certainly gives a lot of nice ambiance. One of the things that I was maybe even worried about is because the bulb kind of has the illumination at the top, you know, would that diffuse like a regular bulb? But I can't tell any difference here when I put this top on that it's any other type of bulb. 
it just looks like and feels like a regular light bulb to me. So first of all, big win there. Now I've got the bulb uh, installed. And if I take one of my uh, retractable USB cables there and plug it in. So now I have that in there. And the cool thing is again, shade back on. You know what? You can't tell that that isn't uh, a, a power charging hub for iOS devices. I could just reach up in here though, and guess what? Pull out a power cable and charge up my iPhone or my iPad. Let's try it. All right guys, so just plugged it in and guess what? My iPad is charging off my power bowl from a lamp. How cool is that? Charging right there. And, I, and no unsightly cables, no extension cords, no power strips. Uh, this cable is coming right out from that power bulb right there. And then the best thing about it, especially combined with this retractable cable, is I take the retractable cable and let it fling back up there. And again, clean, just a nice looking nightstand or end table. And then if I need that cable, it's right up there. So that's pretty cool. And in fact, I've got my other cable here because I can have two of these bad boys in there and charge two devices. So I am pretty stoked about that. Uh, you know, I just think what a brilliant, brilliant idea. Now, the other thing that you have here, and it really depends on where the bulb screws in, but you have a little button right there. So I can turn this on and off just like that. And so I don't need the light, but what that hasn't done is interrupted the power to the cable. So I went ahead and plugged the iPad back in and you can see there charging, the light bulb is off and that's because I used the power button right on the light bulb, the power bulb itself. I can turn it back on right there. So right there, you can use that power button on the bulb. Now, if I turn off all the power to the light with the regular switch or a wall switch, yeah, you're gonna lose power here to your iOS device. So um, it's just brilliant that they thought of all of that. If I turn it back on, boom, charging again. You're not surprised, you knew that was gonna happen. High quality stuff from the people at Mega Tiny Corporation to produce uh, an innovative device like the power bulb here. Looks great, produces a lot of beautiful light. And you know, I'm gonna put it in all my lamps because this sucker gives me power access for my devices all over the house without basically sacrificing any style, light, uh, and it certainly doesn't add to any clutter. I love it. The Powerball from Mega Tiny Corporation, Peter Von Panda, out.